Let's talk about an envelope detector or AM demodulator. So I made up this unit to uh, test the uh, peak envelope power of my uh, ham radios. So these are two uh, PL259 connectors here. I'm going to put the, uh, the the transmitter into one and the antenna into the other, or either you can interchange those. Uh, in this case, I'm just using a 50 ohm load. And over on this side here, all this is is a voltage divider, 10 to 1 voltage divider, and then a capacitor. To make the voltage divider, you can just use uh, six resistors of the same value. I happen to have 5,600 ohm resistors, three in series, three in parallel. And if you if you do that with the same value of resistor, you make a voltage divider that's uh, 10 to 1. Okay, and uh, the value is high enough here, so I just use an eight quarter watt resistors here. Now on this side here, I have a capacitor and a uh, half wave rectifier, and that charges a ca uh, this capacitor up, and it's going to give me my amplitude, and it discharges it across the uh, this one k here. Uh, today we're just going to be using th this side over here. These uh, this half wave rectifier circuit over here, this uh, AMD modulator here, it's uh, you'll see them all over the internet. This is just a common uh, uh, way to do that. You'll see you'll see all different uh, types of those you can use. But we're going to test our uh, peak envelope power. And here's the unit here that I mailed up. And on the back side, you can see here this is the, uh, the voltage divider on this side, and this is my rectifier on this side over here. Now the peak envelope power. The IT, ITU, the International Telecommunications Union, they define a peak envelope power as the average power supplied to an antenna transmission line by, the tra by a transmitter during one radio frequency cycle at the crest of the modulation envelope and taken under no normal operating conditions. Now, to find your peak envelope power, you take your RMS voltage, you square that and you divide that by the resistance. In our case, it's going to be 50 ohms. Uh, to calculate your RMS voltage, you can take the uh, the peak times uh, 0.707, or you can take the peak to peak voltage times 0.353. Now, my scope will give me the RMS value, so I'm just have to square that and divide by 50 to get my peak envelope power. Now, this is assuming you your your uh, it's a modulated uh, AM frequency uh, frequency here. I'm using uh, I'm going to do it on CW and the, if you just want to find your carrier power uh, it's defined as the average power supplied to the antenna transmission line by the transmitter during one radio frequency cycle taken under normal conditions so this one is just without modulation this one you have modulation on here and it's the same formula though it's the, for your uh, power, average power here it's the RMS value squared uh, divided by the resistance here so now, the FCC uses the uh, uh, peak envelope power to set maximum power limits for amateur radio transmitters. And uh, this is just a little RF detector if you want to use it. It's just, just kind of the circuit over here. Uh, you'll see a lot of these on the internet too. And this is just a, uh, a um, LED here that will light up when, you're, when it's near a RF uh, field here. So this is my unit here. I'm going to connect it up and put it on the scope and see what happens. All right, here we are at the scope. This this value here is going to be the RMS value here. And if I uh, I have it on CW and if I put the key down, you'll hear the tone there. And uh, what is it? It's close to two, 250, uh, 2.50. You multiply that by 10 because I have a 10 to 1 uh, uh, voltage divider here. So it's going to be 25. Uh, square root of 25 is going to be 625 and if you divide that by uh, 50 it's going to be about uh, 12 and a half uh, watts that's going to be my peak envelope power on the uh, on the on the transmitter there so um, it's, it'll, I think it'll work out good it's uh, I can take a look at my um, power meter here and it looks like it matches up pretty good the, the meter is from 0 to 300 so it's kind of hard to Tell, but I'm sure this is a lot more accurate. So uh, the, the unit's going to work fine. Um, next time we'll talk about the uh, uh, amplitude on there. I might put those both up there. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. Thank you.